Why is it that white folks support anti-blackness, racism, and white supremacist culture in so many goddamn fucking ways? Why is it that we support it through our silence, our defensiveness, our denial, that code of silence? Let's not talk about it. Let's ignore it. All that fucking gymnastics, that defensiveness, the fucking anger, the passive aggressiveness, the stereotyping, the overt, covert racist, all the shit that we do, the gaslighting, all that fucking shit that we do as white people. Why can't we just leave black people the fuck alone? Why? Because we were taught that shit. It's our culture. White supremacist culture is American culture. It's European culture. We see ourselves as overseers. We ourselves as entitled to control and judge black people. White Americans wanted, back in the day, we demanded black people be segregated, right? So we segregated black people for, so, okay, great. We're going to make our own shit. They started doing great. What did we do? We fucking burned their communities down to the ground. And you got to sit in your fucking silence. You ought to be ashamed of yourself for not giving a fuck. Every single one of you that can't talk about it, that spews fucking racist narratives, stereotypes, denial, gaslight. That's not their reality. Telling black people what the fuck they should think, feel, do, be. Fuck you. Do better. Reject your fucking training, your indoctrination. Question your own goddamn morality racially for once in your fucking life. I'm tired. You ever wished for someone to get carjacked more in your life? Press one. I don't think I've ever wished someone got carjacked more than, than this guy. I don't I don't believe for one second that this guy believes any of this stuff. I don't believe for one second that this guy believes any of this stuff. I believe he probably made a video early on and got a lot of traction. He probably made a video like kind of like chastising gliders and shit, chastising white people. Maybe just a video. He didn't, he didn't, he probably didn't think anything of it. And you know, black people like gravitated to it and shared it and probably made it go viral. And he was probably like, oh shit, I got something here. <laughs> I got something here. Okay. Um, and he's just been going with it ever since, man. You can't make me believe for one second that this guy believes anything he's saying. I just don't believe it. He's doing too much. One thing about humans, man, when they do too much, that's a red flag, man. That's a red flag. And I'm not like talking about doing too much like some white liberal somewhere. He's I'm talking about like doing so much in the sense that like you a fraud. Like, like that Asian girl that was trying to talk all black and shit that on that one video we did. This guy's doing too much. I don't believe for one second he believes anything he's saying. I don't believe that he's some East Coast liberal or something like that, like from San Francisco or he, he probably from Texas or mid-America, maybe even Florida. 
I don't believe this guy believes any of this for one second. I believe this is, I don't believe this is even a shtick. I believe he made a video one time, like that hundreds of millions of people do all the time. And his video got traction and he was like, oh shit. And he's ever since then, he's just been blasting white people. He never agrees with white people. Even your, your DC liberal, your San Francisco liberal, your Austin, your Seattle liberal, even they like agree with white people sometimes like, yo, yeah, um, you know, we need to like not send our kids to school with these people. Um, <laughs> this dude never agrees with white people ever on anything. The white collective. He never understands anything that white people do. They're always 1,000% wrong in every single thing they do. And black people are always 1,000% right in every single thing they do. I don't believe this guy for one second. He's a fraud. He's trolling. He's a, he's a panderer. Why is it that white folks support anti-blackness, racism, and white supremacist culture in so many goddamn fucking ways? Why is it that we support it through our silence, our defensiveness, our denial, that code of silence? Let's not talk about it. Let's ignore it. All that fucking gymnastics, that defensiveness, the fucking anger, the passive aggressiveness, the stereotyping, the overt, covert racist, all the shit that we do, the gaslighting, all... And black people never experience any of this stuff. Black people never experience any of this stuff. Salute to Charles, man. Charles in the building. He says, What's up, Oct? This the five dollar fuckery challenge. Yeah, man. Salute to you, man. Corey Lemon said, Yeah, gliders do better, you bigots. <laughs> All that fucking shit that we do as white people. Why can't we just leave black people the fuck alone? <laughs> Yo, this line right here is hysterical, man. This is a hysterical line. Fighting all that fucking shit that we do as white people. Why can't we just leave black people the fuck alone? <laughs> now, do you see what the press one if you see what I'm saying now? Press one if you see what I'm saying now. We do the gaslighting, all that fucking shit that we do as white people. Why can't we just leave black people the fuck alone? Why? Because we were taught that shit. It's our culture. White supremacist culture is American culture. It's European culture. We see ourselves as overseers. We ourselves as entire. That's such a lie. White people are individualists. White people want to be left alone. White people are individuals. White people don't think like that at all. White people are individuals most of the time. Even when they're, um, even the Democrat whites, the, the 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 East Coast and West Coast liberals, even them, the socialists and things like that, in their personal lives, they prefer they they don't act like sons, man. They don't think like as a monolith. They they herd sons and POCs into a group. And they heard like LGBT and stuff like that in the groups. But as far as whites, they don't they never talk about whites as a monolith as a group. Whites don't talk like that. They don't think like that. They don't see themselves as a group. 
They see themselves, each one of us sees themselves as an individual. Entitled to control and judge black people. White Americans wanted, back in the day, we demanded black people be segregated, right? So we segregated black people for, so, okay, great. We're going to make our own shit. They started doing. That's not true. Black people went kicking and screaming in the segregation. Black people went kicking and screaming in the segregation. And as soon as they got a chance to, to, to integrate, black people jumped at that shit. And great, what did we do? We fucking burned their communities down to the ground. That's a lie. You know that's a lie. Only time black people got lynched is when they raped white women or white girls or did something egregious and they were <laughs> they were kidnapped from the from the jailhouse and given extradition judicial justice. And you gotta sit in your fucking silence. You ought to be ashamed of yourself for not giving a fuck. Every single one of you. Every single one of you. He's trolling. Can't talk about it. That's fused fucking racist narratives, stereotypes, denial, gaslight. That's not their reality. Telling black people what the fuck they should think, feel, do, be. Fuck. White people don't be running around trying to tell black people what to do, think, and be. You could tell he's not being honest. He's not being genuine. White people do not go around telling black people what to think, do, be. Maybe white liberals. He's not talking about white liberals. None of what he's saying is addressing white liberals. He's talking about blue F-150 white guy. With the bro cap on and shit. Who drinks Schlitz malt liquor or um, Milwaukee's Best or Natty Light. And smokes a pack of cigarettes a day. Marlboro. That's what he's talking about. And you know those people don't give two fucks about black people in any way to tell them what to do all the time you do better reject your fucking training your indoctrination question your own goddamn morality racially for once in your fucking life i'm tired now he's crying <laughs> he's crying guys <laughs> He's so fed up with white people bossing black people around and telling black people what to do. <laughs> that is it's brought him to tears. I'm tired of what my people have done, what they continue to do. I'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> Yeah, I get black people follow for this because black people are not very smart. All testing, every school district in the country and the world, testing in school districts across the world, um, patterns of behavior across the world show that black people aren't very smart. But I want all you white people here who uh, who's happen to see this video to know this guy doesn't believe one second of what he's saying. It's all an act. I'm tired of seeing people so 